with an FC TV with Chris Agata following today's win in the FA Cup against Plymouth Parkway. Aggie, four goals, clean sheet and an all-round dominant performance. You've got to be pleased. Yeah, very happy. Um, two clean sheets on the spin, so like we said after last Saturday, which was a long time ago, thank God, um, we challenged a group to be a bit more robust, defensively aggressive, play with more intensity and the two performances between now and then of it's in plenty of that, so I'm really, really pleased with the lads, and um, yeah, I, I feel like it's well deserved. Yeah, it was a dominant performance today from minute one. Really, they never really had a sniff, and, and you were creating opportunities throughout. A um, few notable performances in there, but just an all-round fantastic display. Even the substitutes when they came on as well. Yeah, I, I mean, it was. It's about mentality these games um, because you know. We've obviously got players that are playing a high level for a reason. Um, and there is a gulf uh, between the two teams in terms of league positions, but as we know with FA Cup and Cup competitions, or even league games, the best team doesn't always win. So um, you know, it was very much around our mindset, doing what we do well, our standards, uh, playing with our intensity. That we seem to have found uh, with more consistency over the past week or so, uh, and that, that's that's the thing that I liked and have liked this past week is um, we've seen less moments and more spells, which is something that we've obviously been after, and there's a direct uh, correlation between that and playing with intensity, moving the ball quickly in the right moments, uh, and I'm, I'm I'm really pleased with the with the reaction in general and. Uh, we always want more. I mean, I think we deserve more today, like goals-wise. I think that performance probably deserved five or six. But we said to the, the subs that come on, who I agree with you, I thought they were excellent. I thought they injected even more quality into into the performance and more intensity. We said that I'd rather win the game three-nil than four-one um, because I think momentum is. Uh, Know, so important and it's not just winning games but also clean sheets like getting used to the ball not going in your net and you know that's the third time now that back three's played together that's the third clean sheet they've had so uh, yeah really happy yeah it was always a, a little bit of a banana skin coming into it i mean the in the league below without a win in the league but but i've been been in good cup form um I suppose it was about getting the mentality right today and they absolutely nailed that from, from minute one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Like I said, you don't get to this, this stage in the FA Cup losing games. So they've won a few games and like I said, I've, I've seen it where clubs have been relegated but they get to the third round of the FA Cup. Um, so it's very much around mentality. It's very much around not looking at their league position and, and treating them accordingly. So. You know, we, we prepared as we do each and every game. We've, we've watched them for Parkway multiple times, and they, they do have quality. Like there's a like the left wingers a handful, and they, they play a decent brand of football. Um, I just felt if we if we done us and we played to our level, our standards, we'd win the game. And the group have been fantastic. And, uh, like today. Obviously, Mo will rightly so get the plaudits, cash as well, because he's got another million assists today, like Spongy, another free kick. But again, I, I thought I thought Joel was superb today again. Uh, I thought the back line was very good. Ollie Black is very good. Joe Cook's getting better. So again, like the, the attacking players will get the highlight stuff, but the lads on the back line were, were very good with, with Joel and Nicky as well. I know you've touched on it already, but just how pleasing was it to keep that clean sheet, especially 3 0 up and cruising with 20 minutes to go? It could have been quite easy to switch off, but yeah. remain, remained resilient and, and kept the ball out of the back of the net. Yeah, you just got to take pride in it. And the thing is, that's not it's not just the lads on the back line, it's a collective effort. So, you know, we've got, we've got one of the best footballers at, at the club, Tommy Willard, who's not even started today. He, come, like, he, he can be disappointed because he's been. He's been so good for us and he's been involved in so, so many good moments already this year. But he's come on the pitch, shown the right attitudes and worked his absolute socks off. Like Harrison's come on the pitch, frustrated he's not started come on, like worked his socks off. So I just found, it, just found in the past week it's that much harder to get onto our back line because the lads in front of them are, are doing the ugly stuff better. And like Glenn Ray, 
who only come off because he was on the booking, to be honest. Um, it was superb. The only, the only disappointment really is uh, me being a bit uh, silly and taking this long to put Glenn Ray in the field, but <laughs> better late than never. Um, there's been plenty of individual performances, as you've already mentioned, Glenn Ray, Danny Cashman. I have to ask about Mo Far Lost. Uh, on Tuesday night, you were asking for a bit more love for him, and I feel like you got that love today, and he, he delivered with, with two yeah, great goals. He's got four in six games, isn't he? That's not bad for somebody that's rubbish, is it? So, <laughs> no, no, all jokes aside, I thought he was excellent. And the thing is, they're not just they're not just like you're 4 0 up and he gets the fifth one, but they're big goals for us. They're, they're winning goals. They're, like the first goal today is so important because the longer that game goes, and we've all been there, you go, well, yeah, it gives them a bit of encouragement, staying in the game, keeps the crowd interested. So he's popped up with the first and the third goal, which has killed the game. Um, so they're big goals. So, um, yeah, very, very happy with his contribution. And it was a long journey down to to Plymouth today for, for the supporters, and they came in big numbers and backed you all the way this afternoon. They were amazing. They were amazing. Like, from start to finish, they were, they were brilliant. And, you know, you know, we challenged, challenged um, one or two, like, around being our 12th man and, and helping us through the sticky moments. And fortunately, there hasn't been uh, many sticky moments at all, but their support was amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, they were massively outnumbered, but they certainly weren't uh, outsung. So just a massive thank you from myself, the staff and the players, because uh, we really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, no, hopefully, hopefully they can have a good night out in Plymouth or multiple stops on the way home <laughs> to Worthing tonight. So yeah, thank you very much. And just looking forward now, it's uh, it's another cup competition in midweek. He's pressing away. Well, that's a lot of rotation in the squad. Uh, maybe. I'm, I've never really been one to rotate too much, to be honest. Because, um, like I said, momentum is important. And you know, if we if we can if we can show that same intensity that we had the last week, last two games, then that should mean three wins in a row. And all of a sudden, you start to look like actually we're in another round of uh, an advanced round of a competition. Um, so yeah. I'd, I haven't, I haven't massively rotated previously, but then equally, I've, I've probably never had a squad with the quality and the strength and depth we've got. Like, I think you saw it today with substitutions. Like, you're, you're taking some very good players off, and you're bringing on some very, very good players. Like I said, Tommy Willard's been one of our best players this season, and he's, he's unlucky to, to come out of the side really. Um, so there will be a bit of rotation, but not perhaps as much as people would think because. Um, I just want to keep winning and winning convincingly. Congratulations today, Thank you.